And that's the great thing about the new music industry is it's entrepreneur-based. There is no more model. There is no more one way to do things. Yeah. Joy, with regards to that idea how and mindset, how hard is the music business now? <laughs> Um, there, it's not easy. <laughs> that's that's the, <laughs> probably the most. Um, I, it's it's hard. I mean, and there's no other way to to go about saying it. It's it's hard. You know, I've been doing it now for all, nearly ten years, and you know, I'm just now beginning to see um, think successes that I thought would come and come at the three year mark. Um, and even even as someone who has lived and breathed marketing for so long and and who feels like they have a good grip on what it takes to make something successful I still have yet to see the fruit of my labor in certain areas you know even though I'd hope to see that already um, and I can't I can't agree more with what Joni was saying about um, about mindset you know I think a lot of times you and I Lee were having a conversation last week about the fact that most artists know, at least the younger ones know at this point, that there is no such thing as the big break anymore. Yeah. But even though they know that, it doesn't mean that they're willing to put the work in to to go to to follow the new model. Um, and I think that that's there. There needs to be a willingness, though. Most of us would admit that we don't really know what the what the ingredients are that go into this to make it work and to really make it flourish in the way that we want to at least immediately there it, there's that willingness and that's what makes it possible and I think again it all it all goes back to breaking breaking it up you know you might have these big goals you might have a five-year plan but you can't you can't be working for your five-year plan today you need to be working for your one-year plan you need to be mm -hmm. doing what you can do to make sure that by the end of this year you're so much further ahead than you were last year and knowing that by the time you get to the end of the year you can start focusing on what those things are um, that are that need to happen in order to make year two through five more and more successful progressively can I just add to what Joy is saying absolutely a bit? okay so I 100% agree with Joy, and but what I will say, um, what I will say, Joy, is that you know it took you, it took you ten years. Hey, that's that's usually what it takes. Like most people don't understand it. They think that overnight success actually happens overnight. It doesn't. Like usually, oh. overnight success happens over ten years. Like yes. that's usually the point. <laughs> so you're yes. actually on time. <laughs> and, um. That it's the truth, and and then the other the other thing that I wanted to just add to um in terms of what you're saying is is the the willingness to do the work, and I think that when you look at other industries, when you look at the um when you look at like the film industry and the artists who are like the filmmakers, the part of the artists that are the film industry, or you look at you know visual art, th there are various different um, mediums of art where the artists themselves understand that they're has to be a certain aspect of business that they have to learn and that they have to adopt and they're willing to do that they're like okay I need to get my film out I need to get funding I need to set up a business I need to do this I need to do that and they yeah. get that and I think that when it comes to musicians you know there is this mentality of like I just want to play music I'm like okay well if you want to play music there's this other stuff that goes out too just like a filmmaker wants to put out a film but yeah. they understand that it's like, okay, I want to put this film out. I got to deal with all the other stuff that goes around the film before I can actually see it on the big screen. And yeah. I think that that mentality is something that is is so um is so important to have. You can't just say, I just want to make music, and then all of a sudden money just falls from the sky. Like it doesn't work that way. <laughs> and I'm not saying that artists are 100% responsible for that um that mindset, but what they are responsible for is changing it. So yeah. okay, in the industry, like maybe you know because of the fact that the industry was kind of built on the exploitation of artists who didn't really know any better and they're like hey I just want to do this and then they come in and they sweep you in and they're like yeah girl you know I'll take care of you I'll give you the world and you know and we'll just you know we'll put you up in this and we'll give you this money and just sign this contract and then they end up in debt to the label like yes 
that was how it was before. But like Joy said, new mm -hmm. artists now understand that there isn't some type of you know big brother that's just going to come with a money tree and pluck things off and give it to you. He, they yeah. understand now that there is no necessarily a clear cut model, and that artists are going to need to you know buck up and make the decision. If you want this bad enough, then you're mm -hmm. going to have to put in the work just like any other artist in any other media. Right, you know, it's and, great. And I want to add to that, when we say work, I'm not talking about practicing your ass off on your piano or mm -hmm. like going and maybe visiting a few venues. I work 120 hours a week. These two ladies work just as hard. Every artist that I know that is making a serious go of their music career is working just as hard. This is not an industry to get into for the faint-hearted. This yeah. defining success in this industry is still being written. We, mm. we are still learning mm. how to do this. So if you're Great an point. artist watching this and trying to figure out whether I should get into the music industry or not because I'm really good at playing guitar and I have really great songs and I'm a good singer, that's only really one aspect of right. all of it really is only one aspect. Joy, talk, talk to that some more. And you know what? What's funny about that is that some people are going to disagree with this. Some people are going to be angry that I would say this. But it, it, it almost seems like these days being able to play an instrument is the smallest aspect of the music industry. As hard as that is to hear. And and, and I think that everyone has different opinions on... I just put, a, put up a post uh, last week on Grassrootsy about um, asking readers what matters more, the product or the publicity. Mm -hmm. um, because I'd gotten an angry letter from someone who was upset with me. Um, I'd written a blog about how to market properly market something to get reviews, and he felt that I had put a little bit too much emphasis on, on, emphasis on the marketing of the music and not so much on the music. Uh, and I told him that the, the problem with putting more emphasis on the music and not on the marketing is that when you're pitching yourself to media, they're getting literally hundreds of other pitches from other artists. And every single artist that is pitching that specific media outlet thinks their song is just import as important as you think your song is. Mm. And, and that's why at this point it, it almost seems like me marketing your, your product is so much more important than the music. Yeah, if you market it and it's terrible, that won't you won't get anywhere. You're not gonna nothing's gonna happen. You might be able to light a flame, but it'll die just as quickly as it as it lights up. But if you have a good product and you have great publicity, then you're you're gonna go so much further. And I think artists that are living in this world or in a mindset where they believe that it's all about music are they're missing out on so much. And I really, I strongly believe that if you feel that your product is great, you feel like it carries weight, you feel like it can go far, that you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your music to do anything you can to help it to go that extra mile.